CataractCoach.com. How to drape the eye without touching the eyelids for cataract surgery. Let me show you my technique. Here's how we do it at our Beverly Hills Surgery Center. We place this first drape that has a cutout for the eye and it's adhesive and that sticks around the face and has a nice seal and the eyelids are now exposed. We don't touch the eyelids. We're just touching the drape. Now my assistant will use a Steri strip and the back end of a wax cell to lift up that upper lid and now I'll place this tegaderm and that'll get every single eyelash out of the way. We'll do it for the lower lid as well. And so without touching the skin at all, we're able to drape it so that every single eyelash is out of the way and there's a clear plastic drape around the lid margin. Here's it being done in a different facility. This is not our Beverly Hills Center. It's not me doing this procedure. But I want to just show you a different technique. In this technique, the patient's eyes again exposed. And the surgeon now is going to get a plastic drape. And when applying this, the skin has been prepped with povido iodine and so betadine. He's going to use his actual fingers touching the eyelid skin, which has been cleaned with the betadine solution. Then he'll put the clear drape down and then opening up this drape. And this is perfectly acceptable also. Now the question is, how obsessive are you about not touching the skin? The skin was prepped with the betadine solution. It is sterile. Certainly when you operate on any other part of the body, the skin is being prepped in the same way and it's considered sterile. And so now he's incising the drape right down the middle there, putting a little extra towel here to absorb any fluids during the procedure. And then a speculum is going to go inside the eye. And the goal of the speculum is to make sure those plastic drapes encompass and go around the lid margin. So you can see that's very good. Every eyelash is out of the way and underneath the drape. Here comes a speculum being placed. This is a nasal speculum, much like the one that I use. And as the drape is op uh, spread apart by the speculum, we'll see that plastic drape will go around the lid margins. There we go. And this also is very effective in getting every single eyelash out of the way. So I'll zoom in here, show you that view. And he's adjusting his speculum. And that looks great. Good exposure. Again, completely isolating the eyelash margin. I think that's the key for our surgeries. Avoids the contamination by oil and or debris. Let's go back to Beverly Hills. This is the same part I showed you at the beginning of this video. How we drape in Beverly Hills. So the cutout drape goes on first. and has a built-in pouch there to catch fluid. In my right hand, I have the tegaderm drape that's been cut in half. My assistant will then use a single steri strip and open up that eyelid. There's a tegaderm being placed on the upper eyelid, and there's another one on the lower eyelid. And again, never touching the eyelid with my gloved hands. Speculum goes in the eye, and we're ready to go. So however you do it, let me know.